Attention gamers. Previously in Rav's Igloo, I built grass brunes on Ezreal, I called it eating boogers, I clickbaited the thumbnail, people liked it, so I built grasp on Ezreal again, I ate more boogers, I clickbaited the title again, people liked it as well, Bunny said boogers in a video, people flamed him, we became friends and ate boogers together, people liked that too, so I built grasp on a bunch of other ADCs, People argued in my comments about whose idea all this was originally as if people can claim royalties on champion build ideas, Riot provided some poor pity buffs to ADCs, now here we are, do the math and you will see that these buffs result in a total of around 3 more damage at level 18 from running grasp and according to the YouTube handbook, this constitutes as something I should market as being huge massive game changing buffs that will change the meta forever. So in this video you will see me take AD Ezreal mid and turn these twinkle tits into a tank with over 4k health, and then you will see my attempt to take grasp runes on AP Ezreal in the bot lane which, spoiler alert, didn't make me very tanky, but still resulted in a few games of surprise you a dead bitch, so I will let you determine which game was better. But first, this is the best flavor of Dorito and anyone who disagrees with me can suck a butt. Now flash and ignite that upward thumb button subscribe to my content and comment below something weird you find yourself watching on YouTube. Mine is ASMR chiropractic videos to hear the cracks because I'm a sick freak like that. Here's the full runes but basically you take grasp so that attacks pick little boogers out of your opponent's noses because it builds your immunity by adding wealth to your health. Then demolish does those towers dirty while bone plating stuff some newspaper under your clothes in case people get protective over their boogers being picked and lastly overgrowth to commemorate little fallen hoodlums. Then POM because monogana make you a sustainable little twinkle shit till they tire out and coup de grace to sneak a bit of wasabi into the cereal of the weak ones. When I ran AP I replaced this crap because I could give two shits about building tier when I am going magic mic on this blonde beauty. The game starts out with over 8 minutes of zero action farming simulator or what other YouTubers would call, content, until Samsung Galaxy Oriana asks if I would be interested in a Rift tour so I oblige. Turns out to be the shittiest tour I ever received as she walked so fast the entire time I could barely keep up to hear the history and when we arrived back in lane my jungler came storming in to warn me that these tours are a scam demanding a refund. She got him to go away but I don't like getting ripped off so I lit the bitch on fire and then shoved a long range lethal banana down her greedy throat. A few minutes later and I am still irked off that this smug ass interstellar ballerina is just ripping people off like the Carol Baskins of Rift tours so I put a ring around her and shift shitter my way in to slurp a booger before sending the fleeing felon back to fountain. I am just having so much fun playing pummel the purple poly pocket that I forget to realize that these yellow things in my bag actually have a purpose in this game. Her ball gives me a titty twister but I recover by delivering a banana to the wrong house as the floating statue of liberty comes in to make it an even trade. Then I decided to pay a visit to the bot lane to ask them how it feels to be 4 levels behind me and to ask the old guy if he can do his best bird impersonation. I have to say it was pretty good until the idiot improv some golden mannequin challenge bullshit so I just sent him home for trying too hard. My jungler is still determined to get his refund but he sucks at negotiating and the tour guide clearly doesn't care that the pamphlet advertised a poro petting zoo as she bosses him around forcing me to show some authority. The galaxy gal tries to ball bash me but I am Jero juke feather and I counter with a snot slurp. I dance around her horribly aimed skill shots before doing a ring flashy fling of a fizzle thing for the kill as Karthus tries to drench me to death but I purchased the waterproof Nikes in the shop so it barely affects me. The whole posse decides to parade down mid so I deliver a dose of potassium to the party before my jungler shrapnel showers them off, but he's going through cigar withdrawals making him do rash things like flash right in the middle of three of them like a total sped moron leaving me alone to prove why they don't call me rab daddy king of the cleanup crew for nothing as I make sure all the kids are safely tucked into bed. The static shitter pings my items because apparently being 7 and 1 doesn't exempt you from getting flamed but I respond by informing him that I just want to be a beefcake when I grow up. A little bit of low e low 20 minute a ram breaks out mid but I get the feeling that this creepy doll is too comfortable around me so I hit her with a surprise I bet your asshole didn't like the feel of that, to put her in her place. This leaves that hovering harbinger of horribleness all alone to defend the statue of himself behind him so I slurp a boogie before walking around his wuss wall of water to get a good look at him dying. 
I try to steal a few of the neighbor's chickens for myself to trade to the merchant for my Triforce which wasn't appreciated by my 8 death jungler even though I explained myself and promised to repay him with a lot of ass. The British bombshell fails to put a big enough ace up that dolls a hole but no worries cause Ratatouille Rav serves up some banana fosters dead bitch bread pudding as dessert. We chase the stragglers until the inflamed astronaut decides to come back and introduce my teammates to the wall as I piss on the amputee before shifting my focus to the noob going full blown Niagara Falls in plain sight. My team has decided that a great way to throw our lead is to try and take Baron when all 5 people on their team are alive and not showing on the map so I run up to aid in the asshats plan only to realize I have a few shadows. I can tell that little chipmunk is about to go through puberty so I shift away from what would have been me glued to a wall as perky tits turns my team into chump change. The banana bomb comes out and I focus my attention on Edgar Allan Poe as my jungler loses a smite battle against their mid laner before we finish off the ace. To which Kirby Steve contributes to the game by claiming that the idiotic Baron call was not worth so I try to joke around to keep everyone happy and not pissing on each other but some things are just not possible in this game. But I can't get mad because it's not like he's pointing fingers at other people while trying to split pushbot when the other team is taking Dragon Soul or anything. But it's cool cause me and some lightning balls from the sky handle the situation ourselves. Then I figure since I am 15 and 2 on the team's carry I can try and politely request red buff but Toxic Tommy feels he can hand deliver it to one of the players on the other team faster himself. Giving it right to their team's carry instead and forcing me to put on my cleanup crew hat once again as we case and static Stanley goes power plant quarterback to slay two of them while I finish off the grumpy grandpa. I run bot trying to find out where the levitating statue of liberty ran off to only to receive a notification that he's up to no good again. We all get a sip from our own personalized waterfall which reveals his secret hiding place so I sprint my ass off to stop his back with a blink bursty boy booger burglary into bush buddies ball sack buster combo. One last fight breaks out in river as the astronaut gets angry and wall bashes the boys so I call his ult with one of my own and then bubblegum boobies throws her ult into the pile as well. I ring pop Mr. Glowing Glove before finishing off the lunar lunatic as they get aced and the announcer lady just can't resist saying that my content is. To which they surrender, my support shows everyone that he's 11 years old by spamming some cringy macro, and I represent for the Ezreal Eskimos on the charts. So now it's time to see if there is any value in building grasp on AP twinkle shit by going back to relying on a total stranger to not suck as my support in the bot lane. And fortunately for me, the support missing more chromosomes this game was on the other team as the moron tries to tie me to Obama's wife but I'm too fast with this foam finger as I light Bart Aldrin on fire and keep my foot secured on the gas pedal until his fat ass leaves my lane. Then we show clown shoes Kaisa Y2 is greater than 1 before sending her home as well. Then I tell my support to act stupid and let the spaceman string her to a midget and she says that's what she was planning on doing anyways, so I play off the bait and ring pop the astronaut that let himself go before nabbing a few more coins. Bot lane just entered the green phase which means you can have social gatherings of up to 6 people now so both teams invite their junglers to come join. Everyone is playing nicely together until braindead Bard Aldrin decides to burn his flash just to ensure that he will die alone without doing anything of value. A total sausage fest is going on in a bush so I run in to put a ring on the spinny king then I wait patiently for my cooldowns to come back up while firing seemingly just decorative auto attacks at the pig rider before I show her that my W stands for wild ween wax and she withdraws. Then back to useless autos until I realize that two of them are trying to be the bread slices to my salami so I go sick with the flash over the wall. Tin tits follow so we coordinate a tickle fest till he pisses off. Then I run up to river to go crab fishing but a wild cosmic ball sack appears so I run back in the bush to prepare for a quick game of surprise you a dead bitch with him and his little neon eggplants. Three of them destroy a statue and just when I think all is lost, a coked up kangaroo comes charging in so I follow it up with a translucent banana before joining the battle and giving the knight in dying armor a few bitch slaps with this foam finger. Then I want the teeth of that twirling titan in a trophy stand at home but he's like a damn olympic sprinter all of a sudden so I give Karen and her Kodo some attention to make him jealous but my plan almost backfires forcing me to flash away before he can sword stab my ass and then I shift shitter him for the kill. Then one more ring around the warthog and these bitches just paid for daddy's next shopping spree. Me and the metal man find ourselves on the same P schedule so we run into each other a few times in a row. The first time I just shit all over him with ease. 
The second ends in me refusing to look behind me so I don't have to lie to a detective when he asks about what I saw the night Obama's wife disappeared. The third was just your typical gang bang in the bushes and on our fourth date he took me to some private oasis but he tries to get too handsy so I kite around until the date ends. Then I handle breakups poorly so I get over dramatic and light him on fire before saying goodbye. One more fight breaks out where I inform Garen that building straight damage is a stupid idea and then I act like I am capable of pulling off a 1v2 only to display the mechanical skill of a wet gum wrapper and fail miserably. But that was enough to finish off the game with another check in the victory column for grass brunes on this twinkle shit. Let me know in the comments which game you liked better, AD or AP and I will bring more of it in future videos. Also huge shout out to all my homies and homets throwing dollar bills at my ass like I'm a stripper on Patreon. Pet your dog jerk your ween buy my merch, I said buy my merch and brush your teeth tonight, rav out.